Welcome back to JMC Creates. My name is Jackie McKissick and today we are going to make something like this. I recently showed you the hunky dory haul that I got and this is Essential Words Wishes and Essential Words Love where you get the die and you get the sub sentiments so I have gone ahead now TJ loves this one so I have told him that when he's off holidays which is on Thursday oh no that's tomorrow <laughs> anyway that we will do I will let him do some alcohol backgrounds so that could be fun I might even film it woohoo Anyway, these are a couple of the backgrounds. This is something a braid probably and embossed and it has got shimmer spray on it and this is an alcohol ink background. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've cut everything out three times. Now you can tell this is cheap white cardstock, okay, and I do tend to use it normally for two of my layers and then I put the white cardstock on top of it because it is less expensive. So it is. Okay. Right. I must try not to destroy my new hoodie. I keep saying that and then I keep doing everything with my hoodie. So the sun has eventually come out here in Northern Ireland. It's still looking very cloudy and damp, but the sun is attempting to be brave, so we will just have to go with the flow. So we will. Right. So, as you can see, all I am doing is going. Nothing. spectacular but I prefer the look of layered sentiments I prefer the way they stand out and I am prepared to put the little bit of extra work into it to get the look that I want and then when I send it out to the nursing home or the charity shop I can be proud of what I've done and know that whoever purchases it will be getting something that I like so hopefully they like it right let me see I get rid of them wee strands. So that is our two dies. Now what we need is a couple of backgrounds to put them on. So I went and I, I thought love on your wedding day and birthday wishes would be nice. So I stamped and embossed them. But it is not done deal. Oh, that one would be nice with love on your wedding day. Okay, I like that idea. Now, what about the wishes? Wishes. Birthday wishes. Or birthday kisses. Wishes. No, it doesn't stand out. What about that one? No, it still doesn't stand out. Something bright. That's a Halloweeny one. 
That's another alcohol ink wand. That one's jazzy. Nah, don't like that one. Nah, don't like that one either. Oh, for goodness sake, how hard can it be to pick a blinking background? Mmm, that one. Mmm, I like that one. No, it has to go this way. I don't know. I know the flowers are facing that way, but does it really matter? There's another alcohol background one. Oh, so that we'll go with that one. No more arty farty and about. Just muck up your mind and get on with it. And oh my giddy and I had the biggest catastrophe this morning. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. It was that drastic. I ran a, a die, one of these ones, through my Gemini machine. I have the full size one. And the whole machine came apart like that. Oh my guinea, and I nearly capped a kin. I want to keep some of that blue in. So I want to get down to three and three quarters because I want to put black on it. And I want to go down to five and three eighths. Okay. And we're going to do the same with that one. We're going to go down to three and three quarters and five and three eighths. And then we want some black card. We need two pieces of black card that is just one under four and one over five and a half. And I know that is an odd cutting measurement, but it works for my size of card. So that's the way I do it. You could do four by five and five. I just like that little smidgen more showing. Right, so I put my plates through my machine this morning and the whole machine came apart in the middle. Oh my god, I nearly carved a kitten. And at the time, I had fallen out with my husband. <laughs> So he'd taken the dog out in a, in a huff. <laughs> so I very, I very gingerly picked up the whole darn machine, took it downstairs and left it in the kitchen. <laughs> Where he couldn't feel to notice it when he came in the critter. And as... Ten minutes later he came up with my plates and asked me where the other purple bit was for the side of it and could we find it? We still can't find it. But genius that he is, he has managed to put it back together and it is working again. And what happened was apparently a magnet was stuck to one of my cotton plates somehow. And the thickness pushed the whole darn machine apart. Thankfully it just came apart at the joins, so he was able to, and the wires didn't come apart. So he was able to put it all back together again, and needless to say, we are now friends again. <laughs> oh my word. I thought, oh my god, I have to go and buy another die cutting machine. And I thought, no, I can't afford it. I just spent a hundred pounds on crafting supplies. Is that downside up or upside down? It matters not, they're going both ways. But do you want the big ones? 
up like that. Oh no, I want that one like that. Sorry. Like that. Okay. And then this one. Like this. So. Those are the bases of our two cards. I'm just going to sit there and let them... Now, I should have done this a minute ago and I forgot. I also took my sparkle pen, my glitter gloss aqua shimmer by Tonic Nouveau. Or whatever the heck they like to call themselves. It's a Nouveau range and Tonic makes it. Is that the way it is? So, anyway. I did that on both of my die cuts. And it doesn't take very long for them to dry at all. So you don't have to wait ages couple of minutes and we're all good to go and you won't be able to see it but I most definitely can see it and it's glittery and there's also little strands for my glue that is annoying the big jiggers out of me anyway so we'll start with the wishes and the reason I did black card is because I did the birthday in black, but I don't think I like the birthday in black. I think I prepared it. I think I preferred birthday in white, like that one. So we need to amend. Right, is that broad enough? No, it's not broad enough. We need a broader bit of card. Can we go? I keep all these little strips of white card, yes, that would do. And I um, keep them in a little jar off beside my computer. And they come in handy for things like this. Now, I cut the other birthday out, but I'm not cutting this one out. So, I need to be careful. I'm trying to get it all in. This strip is slightly narrower than the other one, I think. We need our versifying. We don't need that. Perfectly perfect. You don't want to press too hard when you're doing sentiments like that because you splay out the font and it looks crap. It doesn't look its best, one may say. So, what did I do with it? Oh, there it's there. We'll let that dry a minute then, and we'll think we should we should be able to get away with this like this, love, on your wedding day. And we're going to take a strip and put that on there. And just cut that excess little bit off. Okay, now do I want wedding day centered like that? Okay, I think we do. So, right now we need to put our love down. I forgot I put my pen and my glue. 
need to refill it. So we do. Thankfully, this is a quite a broad font, and it is easy to get glue on it. But it has still got a scripty feel about it, which I like. So that will be that one apart from a few gems. And then this one here, get that one over there. Let's cut off our birthday. Okay, it's all my round. So yes, birthday wishes. I prefer the black on the white. And we are going to strip it up again. Strip it up and start again. And I'm going to put two strips on this because it's broader and it can take it. And that way there'll be no sagginess where you don't want it. Now, I honestly think that I could put these strips down the W, H, E, and a little bit in the middle of the S is, but I'm not going to today. And I'm not sure if that will mess up my alcohol background, so I will use my Mark glitter glue and as you can see once again it's easy to get the glue on you don't have to put it on every little bit just as long as it's on the majority right let's get it set and straight there's a hair there of Rayleigh's. Surprise, surprise. Right, and that would be that apart from where have I put my gems? Oh, I put them away. Would you believe it? I put them away. And you know what I did do? I did get out a couple of these things, but I don't think they're going to work. Let me see. I got out some of these. Hmm. I don't know. Nah, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go with my initial process. I'm going to put some blue gems on. Oops. Okay, where is my pokey tool? In the pokey tool factory. Yes, it is indeed in the pokey tool factory. Now it does take a minute to get that glue to dry on there, so be careful. Right, red, orange, yellow, blue. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Green. What about green? What about a couple of greenings? Okay, oops, come on, you can do it, there we go, a couple of green ones, and then some white, little white ones.
and that will be us and I will put Jane's on the other one and you will see them in the photographs so you will so where is it so those are my two cards made with the hunky dory love and wishes die and stump combo um i hope you like remember to thumbs up comment subscribe if you can't comment i apologize some reason no matter how often i set my comments to always on i set them to allow all comments it just keeps turning them off so unfortunately it is my cross to bear so anyway thanks for stopping by i hope you liked it i hope you're all safe and well and until the next time jaggy out